I would recommend letting it grow off and doing the filing every week or two weeks. However, if you do feel like you want to remove it and take it down as much as you can, um, let's do it the safest, the safest, best way. Um, you might also end up with um, like when it grows out and you know it starts to pop off in the back and it gets caught in your hair and things. This is also what can help you remove it um, so that it doesn't end up ripping and tearing and damaging your natural nail. So again, with my 80 grit, or if you are using the file that I sent home with you, you could use the 100 side as well. Um, you want to go down and you want to remove as much of the color as you can. If you go down too much like this on your natural nail, you are going to ruin your natural nail and put a big dent in it and destroy it. Do we want to keep this on the gel only? So in the middle here where I know it's thicker, I can push as hard as I want and I can bring it back and forth. And again, this 80 grit is going to be a lot faster than the 180, um, as well as the, the 100. But again, just you can use what you have or make arrangements and we can do this together. I'm just going to probably speed through this process here. Okay, so I've got the majority of my thickest parts um, filed through the color. Now when I get closer to my the edge where I'm getting closer to my natural nail, I might just lighten up a little bit because I do not want to damage my natural nail. So I'm going to come around and I'm turning my nail over to bring it to the other side. I mean, this isn't gonna damage my skin if I do get my skin. Now I'm gonna come the other way. And if you want a little bit more control, you can hold your file so that you have, I don't know, that kinda, it might work for some people, it feels funny to me. I like to personally hold my file like this. But again, I can, by going shorter strokes, I can focus on the areas where I really wanna add or remove, sorry, focus on the areas that I want to remove my color. Now my hands are cramping. This is not something that you would sit down and do all 10 nails in one go. Um, again, you might only do this if you get to the point where they've grown out so much that they're popping off and getting stuck in your hair. Okay, I can leave this. You'll just come up the edges just a tiny bit, but these areas here are the thinnest of the gel around the perimeter of your um, your nail. So I don't want to go too crazy filing that down. So you can remove the color up to this point as I keep working on it, but that's just because I'm nitpicking here and that's myself. So there's still quite a bit of gel here and this could start to split and peel off. There are two things that we could do. We could continue just thinning that down. Yeah, you'll be able to see that there's quite a bit there still. So if you take your buffing file, um, this here, visually, like I said, it, I, I really don't know if you can see this on screen or not, but this I can tell is rougher than this part here. This is the next level down. So again, this and this file is a lot not <laughs> more squishy, so be a little bit more gentler, which is good because we really want to be gentle once we start getting close to the natural nail. You might see where I actually did end up scuffing some of my natural nail down there anyways, even though I tried not to. And you're not going to be the only one walking around with unfinished nails. I bet you, come four weeks from now, there's going to be a lot of ladies who don't have anything, or they'll have a couple broken off and half all grown out. So they're all going to be in the same scenario as you are. Okay, so that was this rough one. I'm going to go to the next, <clears throat> excuse me. 
So that was this grit here. From the feel of it, I'd probably say it is closer to the 180. Um, this one probably here is about a 200. So I'm going to flip to that one now. Because now you've got all these bumpies and ridges. And, and honestly, when it comes to cleaning and trying to be um, sanitary, we don't want all those little ridges for bacteria and stuff to get in. Which again, once your nails start lifting, you are opening up the fact that um, you could easily get food and debris and bacteria between your gel and your natural nail. So we do really need to try to keep this upkeep at home for the safety and well-being of ourselves as well as, yeah, and others in our family. Like if you're cooking, um, during this process you might want to start wearing even some vinyl gloves um, just to limit how much um, bacteria that could possibly get stuck underneath your gels. So after I filed this one, I was working back and forth like this with this um, 180 side. I'm going to go to the 200 side. And my 200 side, actually, I want to kind of go up and down in the other direction. The reason that is, is I just want to... This will start helping smooth out those lines of the stronger grit that was going back and forth. So I just want to kind of get out some of those file lines as much as I can and that's the idea of this buffer is we're getting rid of the file lines. Then after that I'm going to switch to my white and I'm going to do the same. I'm going to go up and down. The idea is I'm trying to make this look like a nice smooth surface very similar to my natural nail. And as you can see, even though I said during this process I was going to try to be nice to my natural nail, it still has scuffed up a little bit. Again, my hand is cramping. Oh, I did the wrong side again. I just did all that work and then I go and flip it over. Do the wrong side. You can tell me still just a two-sided file. I'm like, oh, I want the softer side. Let's flip it. Okay, I need to flip it around because I want the gray now. And the gray is going to do more of a shine to it. Okay, now I notice that the end of this I don't like. So I'm going to come in again with my 180 side. And I'm just going to smooth out my edge. Okay, so now, now that what we did is with filing this down, we have what we consider breaking the seal. So the end of your nail here, um, I usually cap the edge with gel, but now we filed that through. So there is a chance that it will start splitting and peeling from this end. Um, but again, this could be something, like I said, your hand is going to hurt. Um, mine are tired. I'm done. I'm done. So my hands are tired from doing even just this one nail and working on it. So this could be something, obviously, you do set a day, set a weekend to go through and just do a little bit at a time. You could even work on, like, to, you could get to the point where you have clipped and shortened all these. And then again, like I said, if you get to a nail that is lifting, it's popping in the back, it's getting stuck in your hair, then work on this process to get it down. Um... It actually feels really smooth. You can see that black there, but honestly, at this point, I really, it doesn't hurt my feelings. Um, okay, I'm going to leave that as is. I highly recommend using cuticle oil. Um, I mean, our hands are really raw and dry from all the extra moisturizing and um, sanitizing already. Our nails are going to be the same. Um, we need to moisturize, 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 which is good for all of us to do anyways. I have to admit, I am horrible at remembering to put cuticle oil on. I even have one of my purses with my lip balm that I'm like, oh, I put lip chap on. I should do my cuticle oil, and I forget all the time anyways. So cuticle oil, if you don't have cuticle oil, we can arrange that. I have thought about bringing in a few extra products, um, as well as um, you could use coconut oil, olive oil, anything hydrate, hydrate hydrate is going to make a huge difference on your hands as well as your nail health. Okay, so like I said, I have cuticle oil on this guy here and um, you know what? I'll let you know what, it, what he looks like after a few days. But like I said, like I mean he's gonna, there's still a lot of strength on there. I 
strongly, strongly, strongly want to point out the fact we do not want to damage our natural nails. We do not want to pick them off. We do not want to pry them off. What's going to happen is, is if I sat here and I picked and picked and picked, this gel is super adhered to your nail. Hence why it lasts usually about four, at least three or four weeks for most people. So if we pry this off, we're actually going to take layers of our natural nail with it. We do not want to do that under any circumstances. So this will be a slow process. 